was Horn who downloaded the images of child abuse. It's the same thing, in essence, that he did to Justin, was posing as a woman or a girl to lure Justin in. It just shows he had a past history of doing that, posing as his wife to meet up with couples on Craigslist. With Horn in jail, Detective Ewing continues to hunt for solid evidence to prove Justin was in his taxi. I took them to a second examiner. I took the prints that were lifted at the scene, the fingerprint card, and also the autopsy prints. And that examiner was able to match the prints from the window of the taxi cab to Justin. It told us that Justin was in that taxi cab or at the taxi cab because the prints were lifted from the outside passenger window. With proof of kidnapping, the charge against Horn is elevated to first degree murder. During his trial, it's revealed that Horn obtained Justin's number after he downloaded a contact list from a friend of his stepdaughter's cell phone. The text records show that he knew exactly how old Justin was. The jury takes less than an hour to find Horn guilty. He is sentenced to death. I really didn't take any sense of victory away from it for myself because Justin was deceased and couldn't bring him back. Brian Horn has never revealed what really happened in the cab that night. Police can only speculate. The last text that Justin, that we believe Justin sent with the phone was at 3.15. The car just died. This is a text that he sent to who he thought was Amber. At that point, if the phone went off in Brian's pocket, would Justin have been quick enough or smart enough to realize that Brian Horn was indeed Amber? I can only wonder what that must have been like. You're trying to put yourself in your child's place to what happened, because you weren't there to protect them. And you're constant, you've got this going through your mind, was your child screaming for you, like they do when they cut themselves or they hurt themselves, and they're crying out for mom to come help. And you so you're trying to go, how long did Justin have to fear before he lost his life? And was he screaming for me? And I couldn't be there to help him. The prosecution of Brian Horn results in the passing of the Bloxham Bill, banning convicted sex offenders from driving taxis, limousines, and buses. 